In this video, we're going to show you how you can get the Saint Denis collection from Madame Nazar every day for a whole week and make 85 bucks each time. Howdy Capo, Austin BMX here, and as we stated, we're going to show you where all the loot spots are for the Saint Denis collection for this week starting September 24th. So this week we got the San Denis collection from Madame Nazar. You guys can collect that, it's three pieces of collectibles. It is the Cognac Antique Bottle and mind my pronunciation. I know you're not here to see me pronunciate stuff perfectly, but it's the Boluex Diamond Ring and the Blanchet Ruby Earrings. That looks pretty close to me. There's lots of little uh, French, little weird, indicators on that stuff so uh, we'll just that's what we'll call it so if you guys are not aware uh, last week we figured out that every day the loot changes at five o'clock pacific time that's the magic time make sure you guys are knowing that time for your time zone and at that time you can go loot specific parts of the map and guarantee get these three locations we did it last week with the collection and this week we have our collection now we'll go over all the spots right now Starting with group A, and then B, and then C. Uh, not sure what today is going to be. We'll try to figure that out. Make sure you guys are watching our social media channels when you're ready to check this out, both on Facebook and Twitter. Every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time, we'll make sure to let you know exactly what day we are on for this method. So the first one we're going to be taking a look at is group A. Now, unlike last week's collection, these ones are kind of spread out. Last week's, they were kind of close together. This week for this collection, we have a spot out at Wallace Station, uh, one down by Dewberry Creek, and one over by Van Horn. We'll go take a look at all three of those locations. This will be for Group A. All right, our first location for Group A is right here by Dewberry Creek, and it looks like while I'm recording this, we actually have Group A active. It may not be active when you guys are at that. It will change at 5 p.m. Pacific time, probably right after this video goes live, and switch over to our Group B we'll get to now. But for right now, Group A is active. So at this spot, you will get the Ruby Earrings. If we look at the map real fast, this spot right here, Dewberry Creek, will need a metal detector. Ruby Earrings for Group A. Right, location two for Group A should be right here. Should get ourselves the Diamond Ring, I believe. Let's dig this thing up and see what we get. Got a box. Make sure if you guys are doing this with a posse, be careful with these boxes. Sometimes they glitch out. And we got ourselves our ring. Take a look at the map real quick. You guys can see where we are. Right above Wallace Station, we'll need a melee detector for spot two of Group A. Our last spot for Group A is that this abandoned house. Actually, I think it's like a taxidermy weird house in story mode over by Van Horn. Uh, we may not be able to get this. You got to climb up here and get in the window. And... I think I got this cognac late last night, so I can't get it. But down here in this cupboard should be your last part for Group A right here, bottle of cognac. Check out on the map where we're at real quick. Right here, right next to Van Horn. Like we stated, the sites this week for the collectibles are not grouped together too well, so you will be traveling around. There is your last spot for Group A for the full set. Moving on to Group B. We have spot way down here in San Denis. This should be a cognac. And then actually two spots super close together in Valentine near the Dakota River. These are pretty tricky to get to. We'll get up there and show you exactly where they are. Our first stop for Group B is down here in the San Denis area. You should have a bottle of cognac right here inside this barrel. Group B cognac bottle Let's take a look at the map real quick so you guys can see exactly where we are on the map we're down below Calgary Hall by San Denis in this abandoned building right here all right the next two for group B are a bit tricky but they are really close together first one you gotta cross this bridge come down here oh don't get tangled up right there walk nice and slow take it easy you know come right down here you want to be right here and you should have yourselves a box to open up should be a spawned in box on a group b day 
should give yourself one of your collectibles for the collection. I believe it's the ring. Again, if we look at the map where we're at right now, right here just north of Valentine, go right across that bridge and you should be no problem grabbing that pretty easy. So the last one for group B is a little tricky. I will show you where we're at right now first. You need to come from this side. We were just down here. We rode up the trail up to here and now we're on this plateau up here. You need to be on this plateau and walk over here and drop down the ledges to find the last lootable for group B. Again, the last location is pretty tricky. Get up on that plateau we just talked about. I'm standing right here on the edge looking northeast on the edge. I can see the bridge that we crossed right over there in the distance. You're going to want to drop down here. Slide down a bit. It may seem like you're going to crash and fall. This is the metal detector site. And your dig site should be right here on this plateau right here. So make sure you guys grab that right where our marker is. But it's just hard to get down here. Make sure you guys aren't falling down and killing yourself. Should be a dig site with a metal detector right here. Again, we'll take a look at our map so you can see exactly where we are. Right next to the eye in River. Up here by Valentine. That's your last spot for Group B. Moving on to our Group C locations. We have spot up above Blue Water Marsh, as you can see above me on an island. That's going to be a dig site. We have a site in Lymphony to grab the Cognac. That should be an easy grab. And then a spot over in Tall Trees, which is also an easy grab inside of the worn out gang hideout homestead, I guess. We'll go check out all three of those spots right now. All right, so the first spot we're checking out for Group C is out here on this island. Of course, watch for alligators because they will eat ya. Right out here, you should have a metal detector site. Should be right here by this tree. Let's take a look at the map. I'll show you exactly what island we're on. Right here, right above Blue Water Marsh, little island out in the middle of the Kamasa River. Again, this is alligator country, so watch for that. Right there, nice dig site for your metal detector. Second spot we're going to for last group C here is this burned out homestead over by Manzanita Post. Pretty easy to get to. Again, be careful of predators, just like the last one with alligators. There is a bear and a cougar spawn here, so you definitely want to be careful. Inside this last house right here, go on in, crouch on down, go past the dead body, fireplace right here. I wish it wasn't so dark so you guys could see it better. But there's a fireplace right here. Reach up there, grab yourself a ring. If you look on the map real quick where we are, these three houses just in the bottom of tall trees. This northwest house right here should have your fireplace in it. Get yourself your lootable for group C. Our last and final spot for Group C is in the poor old town of Lymphony, down on the Dakota River. If we head over here into the Sheriff's Office, that is uh, pretty dilapidated right now. I'm not sure how this uh, cognac lasted this fire. But inside the Sheriff's Desk, right here, you should have a bottle of cognac to finish off your set for your Group C day. If you take a look at the map, if you're not sure where Lymphony is, right here above Flatneck Station on the edge of the Dakota River. And this building right here should be your last lootable for Group C. All right, cowpokes, so make sure you're getting out there and getting your lootables every single day this week for that Saint Denis collection. You should be able to make 85 bucks a day if you use this method of the Group A, B, and C. Make sure you're checking us over on Facebook and Twitter each day at 5 p.m. Pacific time. We will get you what group is lootable that day because we're checking it live on stream. You guys, if this video helped you out, make sure to smash that like button. If you're new around here, consider subscribing to the channel for more Red Dead Online content, including tips and tricks, news updates, gameplay, and just good old-fashioned fun. Hope to see you on the prairie sometime, but until then, see you later.